Where should we go? Ooh, where's that? Where should we go? Oh, I think Sorry, we'll go to Let's have a chat to Brian Fugan. <laughs> Brian, says, Brian is there. Hello, Brian. Right, Brian, you're going to talk Nana. to me then. Uh, what do you think? Is Brexit to blame? Um, I, I don't think it's to blame. Uh, I think it, it, it would be wrong to say that Brexit is to blame. I think Brexit perhaps doesn't help in every regard. I mean, if we thought that uh, uh, the, the migrant crisis, as, as it's referred to, uh, was going to go away, it was going to be solved because of Brexit, well, we were wrong about that. Um, and I think that's one of the problems with Brexit. It was heavy. Uh, we were heavy on the sloganizing and not so heavy on the substance. And that, that we've been left with kind of a hodgepodge uh, post-Brexit uh, with long-running feuds. Um, we have no protocol in place in terms of uh, Northern Ireland. That has decreased mm -hmm. our stock with EU countries in terms of trying to negotiate the kind of deals that perhaps would alleviate some of the issues that have arisen, such as this. Um, so obviously the Prime Minister, in terms of what he's uh, trying to put in place with the French President Emmanuel Macron, we're told that uh, something might be close. And that kind of bilateral working together, that bilateral agreement, that's something to be, to be welcomed. And that's what we need to try and do. I think yep. that Brexit has perhaps exacerbated some issues, but absolutely not to blame. The system is broken. We know that from the from the, the Home Office. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. We have 100,000 asylum so seekers. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we don't do the list because we know.